Hi everyone and uh, welcome to the Legendary Arcade. Today I'm uh, working on the uh, control panel for the Halloween cabinet and uh, I've just finished cutting off the pieces and uh, making the slots for the uh, T-molding. And this is the two, uh, the front and the back, the bottom of the box. And I have the two side panels here. And you can see they've all been uh, sanded down along the edges. And uh, they've also been sanded down on the, the top here. So I'm sure that it will uh, look nice when I paint it. So uh, the next step is to uh, glue these together. And uh, after that I'm going to make the top panel, which uh, I'm going to use a... Uh, or do with a, a plexiglass uh, top this time and that's actually a new one for me so uh, I'm looking forward to that Hey everyone just a quick guide on how I actually glue a box like this together first of all I start by uh, making all of the components of parts I've done that and then I drill small holes like these uh, where I need to uh, glue two parts together. Right now I have glued uh, the si uh, front and the back on the bottom and I need to glue the side panels. So I need to glue this one to this. So the first part is to uh, drill some holes, six millimeters in uh, the side of this. When I've drilled the holes I will add these, these are small markers into the holes like this. Then I'll take the side, flip it up, make sure that it's aligned. I can't do this while I am recording, but I'll just explain what I'm doing. Make sure that it's aligned where it needs to sit, and then I'll just give it a quick bash with a nice hammer, like this. And uh, when I do this, uh, these ones will mark where the dowels uh, are to be positioned in this side. So I can drill the holes in here, uh, using the markings from these ones, insert the dowels, add glue all the way around, and of course glue the dowel in too, and then it just fits perfectly in place the first time, and you get a very nice uh, connection that will stick together for many years. You need to uh, apply pressure while the dry, uh, glue dries, and uh, I usually use some of these, and it will take around 24 hours uh, before it's completely dry. But while I wait, I can uh, build the top panel. So um, that's how to glue the box. That's it, I just cut the uh, final piece for the uh, control panel for the arcade, Halloween arcade cabinet. And I'm very excited about this project, as it's actually the first time I'm going to be making a cabinet where the uh, control panel consists of an MDF board on top, and then the artwork, and then a piece of plexiglass. And I'm really excited about how it's going to go with the uh, plexiglass part, as I need to uh, cut it to fit the uh, panel perfectly. It needs to have very clean edges, and it needs to have drilled all of the holes for the control buttons without damaging the plexiglass. So uh, the next step right now is just to uh, mark up how the uh, panel is going to look on this piece of the MDF board. And when I finish that, I'm going to cut the plexiglass using this as a template. So, uh, this is going to get very interesting now as I'm going to uh, cut the plexiglass using a jigsaw with a metal blade in here. Uh, and see how that goes. I'm going to use the top of the... Uh, the panel, I made an MDF board, it's right here, I'm going to use that as a template and cut along the edges all around and hopefully I'm going to uh, make a very precise um, piece of plexiglass that fits exactly on top of this piece and after that I'm going to drill all of the holes so uh, that's it, I uh, finished the uh, plexiglass uh, top and uh, I've just uh, put it here so you can see it on top of the MDF board and all of the holes are aligned perfectly, the edges fit and everything actually just turned out the way I just hoped it would. Uh, I actually didn't expect it because I, I'm not very fond of working with plexiglass, it always uh, breaks for me but this time it just worked perfectly so I guess I leveled up a bit in the plexiglass department. This looks so great. I can't wait to put the artwork in between these two and see how it looks. 
I've just added the artwork between the MDF board and the plexiglass plate and it looks amazing. I am very satisfied with this result. This is absolutely some of the best work I've done so far on uh, my arcade panels and uh, I'll definitely use uh, plexiglass to do this another time. It took, uh, took a long time to finish this panel without errors but uh, the result it's so rewarding so uh, definitely do be doing this again and I've actually leveled up a couple of skill points uh, in plexiglass department so I think I can do this a bit, bit faster next time. And um, right now I just need to uh, remove all of the paper between uh, the holes in here and I can do that with a sharp hobby knife so there shouldn't be any problems and then I'm going to add all of the LEDs and uh, buttons and it's going to be uh, probably going to be yellow buttons and maybe a couple of blue ones or red ones I haven't decided yet I have to see how it looks so um, I still need to paint the box and I need to uh, paint the sides of this panel so I'll have to remove all of this before I do that but uh, I'm going to do that tomorrow and then I'm going to uh, mount all of the electronics and uh, then the project should be more or less finished so, thanks for watching The control panel is uh, completely ready for painting now. Uh, all holes are drilled and it's completely assembled, so um, I just need the painting part. And uh, to prepare a piece like this for painting, you need to make sure that it's completely clean and there isn't any dust from the, uh, the tools you use when you're working with wood. So um, first of all, I usually use some uh, air from a compressor and I just uh, blow over all of the pieces and especially down in all of these uh, slots to remove any uh, dust that could be laying around. I usually do this outside and as you can see I've also dragged it outside today because it's beautiful weather here and um, after uh, cleaning it with the air you need to remove the remaining dust using a small piece of the cloth with a bit of water on it and then just clean the surface. And that's, the, that's where I am right now. This has been cleaned. So now I need to uh, paint it. And to do that I uh, add a primer. After the primer I will sand it down with a very fine grit of sandpaper. And then I'll paint it with uh, black. Sand it down. Paint it with black again. And then sand it down and paint it with black. To get a clean finish. After this I'll add a uh, varnish. Uh, usually doing this by spray to get a very very nice finish at the end and then I'm ready to uh, install the electronical parts and mount the uh, top panel here on the uh, box itself with a couple of hinges down here behind the hole you can see on the back side is for uh, the wires uh, usually when I use a key encoder for arcade panels there will be a single USB uh, cable running from this panel and I need to connect that to a computer so um, I either take that out on the back side or in the bottom of the the box and this time uh, with the cabinet it suits its best uh, right here from the back so that's it on with the painting That's it, the control panel for the Halloween Horror Cabinet is finally finished. And I am so pleased with this panel. This is absolutely some of the best work I've ever done on an arcade machine. I am really, really uh, satisfied with the result. Uh, I did this uh, during my holiday and I took my good time to do it and was rewarded for it. It uh, clearly uh, shows that when you are giving yourself the time it takes, you will get a much better result than if you hurry during the process. The panel itself is uh, made as a box that can open up. I've added a small uh, lock down here for a small, I uh, don't know what these are called in English, for one of this kind of locks. And uh, I can add it here so people can't get inside. But when opening up, you can see how it looks inside. Uh, sorry for, for it being a bit dark, my camera isn't very good in uh, this light. There's room down here for a keyboard and a mouse. And then I have the controller and uh, all of the buttons and wiring and joysticks. A couple of hinges so the machine, uh, the panel can open up and down. 
the top is made of a 16 millimeter MDF board, then the artwork uh, which was designed in Publisher and then finally a plexiglass plate on top of it all to just finish it all. There's T-molding around all of the edges and the T-molding is uh, fitted so it matches the top of the uh, plexiglass plate and the bottom of the MDF board down here. So it, uh, it fits really nicely. The buttons are standard uh, arcade buttons with different colors. Light buttons here, uh, sorry, uh, yellow buttons here uh, to fit the Halloween theme. A couple of blue buttons up here for potentially for credit and player start. And a red button here and here to, uh, yeah, I haven't decided what to use them for, but I have the possibility to use them uh, as I please. Two of the black stand-up joysticks. I've always been very pleased with these as they are very precise and very accurate in the controls. That's uh, basically the control panel and uh, I will um, add the 3D SketchUp model of this to my website so uh, you can find it there and uh, feel free to use it as you please. Uh, I'd be happy to see uh, many more of these uh, arcade panels out there and uh, thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions or comments, always feel free to uh, write a comment uh, in, uh, in the comment section or send me a mail or ask me on any way. I'd be happy to help. So uh, thanks for watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video.